When we moved here as a family, the whole community was just really devastated. The neighborhood was dealing with arson for profit, white flight from the city, um, increase in crime, and illegal dumping. This vacant parcel here was just littered. In back of the house, that was a car graveyard. They used to steal cars and just dump them there at nine or 10 years old. All these lots were vacant. Uh, I was in the window, I'd come home, and if, if, I, if I was doing my homework, I might stop and take a break and see a truck pull up to go dump a refrigerator, and I'd run out, and I'd write down the license plate number, give it to him to make sure people were excited for, for doing that. A lot of us who moved here became the pioneers of the community, if you will, and stuck it out, saying, this is what we want, and this is what we'll work for. 25 years ago, we created the Dudley Street Neighborhood Initiative to organize in this neighborhood. Residents had called for a neighborhood that would have safe streets, the neighborhood that would be green and clean, the neighborhood that would have affordable housing. We've done a tremendous job in stabilizing the community, but we still have a lot of work to do. But nothing comes easy. And that's something that we've learned in this neighborhood a long time ago. But if you want it, you're gonna have to work for it. By raising our voices, it is the most powerful thing you can imagine. My passion is activism. I focus primarily on helping youth get jobs. But I really want to assist in finding ways and means to stop the killing and the violence in the Roxbury community. Those of us that live in here, those of us that work in here, need to be involved. These 42 candidates showed a depth of leadership and activism in the community that will lead the SNI for the next two years. DS9, the Delhi Street Neighborhood Initiative, is a neighborhood planning and community organizing agency that allows for the residents of this neighborhood to demand the best and build the partnerships to make that work for them. We want to help get the residents what they need, but not by doing it for them, by helping organize the residents to do it for themselves. Just because we've improved how the neighborhood looks. If we sit on the fact that we've had some successes, then we're fools. The economic downturn puts all types of stress on neighborhoods like ours. And there's a real threat that the foreclosure crisis can take us back a few decades. And so we're looking at it and saying to people, come out and be a part of this movement to improve your neighborhood. We believe that everybody in the neighborhood is an organizer. That in fact, everyone in the neighborhood is an agent for change. <laughs>